All right. So the one we have on our left is an early 2008 MacBook, 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gigabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM, uh, yeah, 4 gigs of RAM, 2.4 gigahertz, Core 2 dual processor with an 800 megahertz front side bus. And this is a, I think it was mid-2000, late 2008 or early 2009 or so MacBook. Now this is the one where, uh, you know, they went with the metal enclosure before they, they called it the MacBook Pro. So this is what uh, what people on the internet call a MacBook uh a MacBook Pro Collector's Edition. So um, I'm going to get a chair and we're going to see performance tests between the two just as far as booting. I guess I should have thought of this before the making the video. Alright, you can see the screens anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut them both down at the same time. Oh, by the way, the um, the MacBook Pro Collector's Edition has an SSD drive in it. So that's a solid state drive, and like a flash hard drive. It, mine did have to shut down iPhoto, but uh, you can see it's quite a bit slower. Um, both computers have, um, what I've done is I've cleared the startup items for both computers, so it sh this should be a fairly uh, accurate, you know, test to see uh, their different boot speeds. And, okay, so we're going to go ahead and boot them at the same time. Three, two, one. And now the uh, we're going to see the SSD one is going to be at the desktop. Yeah. Now a lot of the reason for that is because of the SSD drive, which is basically flash memory, uh, and also the wider front side bus, which is 1,066 megahertz versus mine, which is 800 megahertz. You can see mine is still booting, and uh, this one's like ready to go. You can see I can start Safari here just by. That's it. There's Safari. It's just un uncomparably faster than my MacBook, which you can see is still booting. <laughs> you can see the screen is much better on the uh, the newer MacBook as well. Still booting, and it's not even finished booting yet. Finder isn't finished loading yet. Just opening a few finder windows. Okay, so uh, I'm going to close these out, and I'm going to start up Safari, just like uh, just like I did on on the the newer MacBook. Uh, look. Okay, so ready Safari. Now you can compare that. Well, that's pretty much pretty fast actually. Anyway. Yeah, actually, that wasn't too bad. So we've got this one. This is my friend's. She's gone for the weekend, so I, you know, told her to take a look at her computer. She's also got her time capsule here, and uh, I gave it a good cleaning. And you know, you can see the difference between these two. My screen is much more blue, or no, yellow. My screen is a much more yellow tint, whereas hers has a much more blue tint. However, I've adjusted my screen settings uh, to be what I feel is more accurate for my photo editing. And I've got the old style trackpad here. This is the new one, which is made of glass. So I can use like iPhone-like gestures on this to uh, make changes. So for example, if, if, I, if I make this gesture, like a, an outward pinching, I can increase the size of the content of the web page I'm viewing. And make it smaller, but obviously by doing the reverse, which is pretty cool. There are, uh, basically, uh, you know, m many, most of the iPhone gestures are are workable on here. If I, I can even rotate a photo, 
if I just rotate my fingers it's pretty cool mine doesn't do that this thing has really made my MacBook feel old and I can't even imagine what the new MacBook Pros with their uh, dedicated uh, graphics processor can do compared to old Black Betty here anyway I've got nothing to do this weekend so I thought this is uh, something I would do mine is also making the fan is on I don't know if you can hear that this one is absolutely silent. I also noticed this computer is a lot more quiet since the hard drive, well, there is no hard drive. You know, it's just like uh, memory, like kind of, you can't, this is cold to the touch. This is, you know, not hot, but warm enough and it, and it vibrates as well. All right, anyway, that's it for uh, my quick show of uh, the difference between newer MacBook versus older MacBook. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.